Welcome to the event event of the show. Today's topic is very interestingly named the six stages of change. How to leave your comfort zone and enter the growth zone. My guest is no stranger to the series is Michael Lohini, one founder the curators for the content. Michael, it's good to have you. Happy to be here once again. So before we get into the topic, what do you do? I, I notice you are all <laughs> over the place. You write all kinds of things. How do you describe yourself? Uh, well, um, I now describe myself as an empowerment specialist. An empowerment specialist? Yes, and uh, I do that through basically three main avenues. Um, as you know, Leticia and I run Lead Africa International. Mm -hmm. And uh, our burden, our passion is to deliberately grow leaders for Africa, mm -hmm. one person at a time. Mm -hmm. We do that especially with our in-school leadership development program that teaches children at an early age how to discover their purpose and then have a plan for doing that. That space is underserved. Nobody talks about children as far as our development is concerned. Mm -hmm. But as a country, that is the garden. That mm -hmm. is our cultivation period. And so we are very passionate about young people and their development. Mm -hmm. That I do through Lead Africa International. Mm -hmm. Then I also have time to work as an independent development consultant. Okay. So I work with civil society, international development partners, and um, that's how I get by. And then I have time also to write and to talk. Okay. Uh, and uh, every year, by God's kind graces, we are able to reach uh, close to 7,000 people. Is the building back greater addition? We that's know right. what COVID has done. Yeah. So I guess your presentation today will focus on the individual, not the, co yes. not the company, not, no. not the country, the no. individual. No. So the focus is the individual. Mm. Yeah. So what are you going to talk about? Right. So uh, we have all gone through, or we are still going through, major disruptions to the way we live and work. Uh, COVID is ju just about change the world economic order. And we know that a lot of people have been hit. In Ghana, we had our own challenges with the banking sector cleanup. Estimates are that 20 to 30,000 professionals have been laid off who are now trying to find their feet in other sectors of the economy. Then we had COVID come in. Some people were sent home. Some people were laid off. Others had reduced working you know, hours. Others had reduced income so that their companies can you know, continue to maintain them. So all these things have, have been a major upheaval, mm -hmm. you know, a major disruption to how we live our work. So if we want to build back better in 2022, then what must we do? And what should individuals be aware of as they start this rebuilding journey? That is why we are going to talk about the six key stages of change. Because you want to change. You want, when we all attended watch night service, whether mm -hmm. it was crossover, jump over, crawl mm -hmm. over, or whatever, we all said we want this year to be a better year, a good year. Now, that good year won't come by wishing. It has to come through a deliberate process of personal change. And that is what we are going to talk about mm. this morning. So you said the six stages of change. And yeah. the topic suggests that there is some comfort zone. Yeah. And there's also some growth zone. Yeah. Is there a graphical way you can depict this and, and show us? All right. So um, if you have it on the screen, yes. you will see that there are basically four stages of change. Four stages, stages of, change. of change. Yeah, okay. four stages of change. Mm -hmm. Now, this is how it works. You see, um, a Hungarian biologist uh, called Mihaly, his other name is very uh, difficult to pronounce, but mm -hmm. he was the first person to talk about the fact that every second our brain processes or our brain is exposed to 2 million bytes of information every second. Now, what that means for you and I to be able to be seen and to live is that our brain then filters this huge amount of information so that you and I will be able to contain and work with what we need. So our brain itself filters out a lot of information. And then it also develops a pattern because it cannot process all the information that it can. So it develops a pattern. Now, this is why we form habits. This is how we form routines, just so that it reduces the work, the workload on the brain. And so all of us have, you know, entered into this routine of just being comfortable, of just being there. And you do this because that is how your body would allow you to function based on the amount of information you are receiving every day. And so now things like bathing, things like brushing your teeth, 
things like driving, things like um, uh, playing some games and sports, mm -hmm. your brain itself has developed a pattern subconsciously so that you can deal with some of this so you don't have to think about it. Now, this is where the comfort zone then comes in. Because your brain has developed patterns for you to follow, to be able to deal with your life, a lot of us then feel that is our state. We fail to forget that there are other things that we can do once we are ready to step out and to launch out. And that is what I want people to avert their minds to this year. Now, this is not preaching, but in the Bible, we are told that at some point, Peter and the other disciples were fishing. And then they saw a figure coming in. Uh, Jesus asked, what have you guys done? I said, well, my Lord, we have fished all day and caught nothing. Mm -hmm. And Jesus told them, okay, now fish on the other side. Cast your net on the other side. Mm -hmm. Now, Peter has been fishing all his life. He knew more about uh, the waves and everything than Jesus could ever, because by professing, Jesus was a carpenter. But now they were on the sea. It was in the comfort zone of Peter and his crew. But then the Bible says they believed and cast their net on the other side, which means that they left their comfort zone, they left the habit, the routine of what they knew how to do, and then did something different from what they had been doing. Now, when they did that, the Bible says they got what? A net-breaking miracle. So your comfort zone is what? The place where you are good at or where you are comfortable at? What was that? It, it's your routine. Your routine. It's your habits. Okay. And it is what your brain has told you to do so you can deal with the uncertainties of life. Mm -hmm. Now, most of us fail to realize that, that we have been programmed subconsciously to develop routines so we can cope with life. And then we remain there and think that is our life. Wow. But your habits and your routines are not your life. There's something on the other side. That's an interesting one. So, for example, when I go on air from 6 to 10, Generally, I have to spend about 30 minutes at the kitchen eat, eating and chatting. Very so good. if I don't, if I don't move, so if, if I finish my show and I have to do some work, I feel it's some way. Very so good. usually I need 30 minutes to just hang out with the guys uh -huh. and talk. So, so that's my comfort zone. Good. So if I want to grow, I may have to say, you know what, this 30 minutes after my show can do something else. That doesn't have to be spent just chatting. Very good. That's it's your not, point. It's not just that, but mm -hmm. even the way you do the show is your comfort zone. Oh, wow. Because you've gotten into a routine for you to be able to handle the pressures of the four hours. So All there right. are some things you do now without thinking about it. Yes. Because you have routinized it. Uh -huh. So when mm. you have to do an LPM, when you have to play music, you've now routinized it. Oh. So it's become your place of comfort. Hey. <laughs> so whatever you're used to doing that you feel safe without having to apply any new effort is your comfort zone. It's your comfort zone. So that's the first zone. Good. Now, for most people, they plateau at the comfort zone. Okay. And they think that they have arrived. They get comfortable and complacent. Okay. And that is how come most people have or experience the life that they are experiencing. Mm. Let's assume that you are a policeman. You mm. join the service after six form or after uh, your secondary education. Mm. You've done that work and you don't even think about it. Mm -hmm. And so you begin to uh, behave like, oh, this is my work, this is my work. Not knowing that if you could stretch yourself, you can achieve a much, much, much higher level of result. And that is the focus of today's presentation. So that's your first zone, which the you showed on zone. the chart. Good. I'll come back to the chart. Mm. So what's the second zone? Is there is there another? Good. The second zone is the fear zone. Fear zone. The second zone so that's is the, the fear second, zone. So in the, on the screen, for those watching on television, the, 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 the first zone is the, the one in the middle. Yeah. Or the, the, the most centralized one. That's right. And then the fear zone is the first one outside the uh, first outside. circle. Yes. Okay. Now, the fear zone is when we have to face uncertainty. Okay. Because you are now doing something that your brain is not used to. It's new. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's assume that uh, TV came and um, management decided that, look, your show will be telecast live. Mm. I'm sure it changes the dynamics of the show because mm -hmm. now you are wondering, okay, how am I going to handle? But, so that's the fear zone. Now, when you ask people to do something new, something out of their ordinary or routine or their habits, they begin to fear. You begin to ask, hey, can I do it? Hey, am I, uh, will, be, uh, will I be able to withstand this pressure? That is fear zone. And that also tends to bottle up a number of people's potentials. 
because yeah, I don't want to stretch myself. I don't want to go through the hassle. Mm. For instance, let's assume that your your the host for one of your shows doesn't turn up, and you ask another colleague to step in and say, "Hey, will I be able to handle that?" I haven't done it before. That's the fear zone mm. because you are living in trepidation. Mm. At how is the public going to perceive me? How mm -hmm. am I going to be received? Mm -hmm. For a company, it could be a new product line, mm -hmm. and you are wondering, will my distribution strategy be able to contain this new product? Mm -hmm. uh, how am I going to distribute it? How am I going to do new advertising? So any time you have to step away from the routine, from your habits, you are entering into fear zone. Wow. So that zone has uncertainty, fear, and, That's right. and trepidation. Yeah. And then there's a third zone. Then that there's a third. So zone. this is a progression. It's a progression. Okay. It's a progression. So from comfort but, to fear. Yeah. Because somebody wants to introduce change. That's right. And then from fear to what? Fear to learning zone. Learning zone. Yeah. Now you make a mental uh, uh, picture that okay, I'll try. Let's take the same example of uh, a, a new host stepping into an established show. So the person, okay, this is a challenge. Maybe management. Uh, trust and beliefs in me. So I'm going to take this up. So what do they do? They start researching. They, they start learning about watching maybe old clips. Uh, start learning how to ask the question, how to sit in. So when you want to launch out, you now want to learn. Uh, some people will get a mentor. Some people will get a coach. Some people do something. So the learning zone is when you deliberately decide that I'm going to move forward with mm -hmm. my life. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make the necessary changes to my life. Mm -hmm. um, last year, we discussed this where a number of the bank staff that were laid off had mm -hmm. somehow to become Uber drivers and stuff. So now you begin to learn. How, I, I don't even know a crowd that well mm -hmm. because when I was working, my route was just one. Now I must go to every part of the city, including Tema and the surrounding areas. Now mm -hmm. how do I even do this? So mm -hmm. you begin to now receive you begin to now learn you begin mm -hmm. to read books you begin to you know listen to YouTube videos and stuff and so it's a deliberate process a deliberate effort now my work is that this is where a lot of people are stuck okay the discipline to learn or learn and relearn is where a lot of people are. Mm. we know we know that if I do this I'll get this result and yet many people don't have the discipline and the resolve to be able to learn so that they can move to a higher level of success. So you mentioned learn and learn and relearn. That's right. I see. That's from having tough life anyway. So you learn, yes. you unlearn. That means mm -hmm. what you've been told is probably not, not sufficient enough. It's not so, fit for purpose. So you <laughs> empty yourself of what you know That's and then right. you learn again. So you can take in new information, new knowledge, new skill mm -hmm. and all the things. So it's not learning upon do. learning. It's learning no. and unlearning. That's right. I see. And yeah. that's the learning zone, which, yeah. which comes after the fear zone. After the fear zone. I and see. then the final growth uh, stage is the growth zone. The growth zone. That's right. This is where you have stretched yourself. Mm -hmm. You have now acquired new skills. Mm -hmm. You have now acquired new knowledge. And mm -hmm. so you are able to maintain the new level of success or the new behaviors mm -hmm. that you want to now enter into. Mm. So if you are watching us or listening to us, mm. this year, this is what you need to do. Mm -hmm. If you want your 2022 to change, you need to deliberately decide that I am going to learn. I am, and, and learning could be anything. It could be new information, new knowledge, new skill, new vocation. What are you going to do to be able to achieve that success mm -hmm. that just a few days ago you said we are in a new year official path this year will be good for me this year will be what are you ready to do mm -hmm. because you see you cannot achieve beyond your level of understanding comprehension and skill mm -hmm. so if you want to change your life then you need to be able to acquire a new skill a new habit a new routine a new vocation a new knowledge or something new mm. set new goals do something then you are achieving the success oh, that wow. you have. Well, I thought there were six, but it turns out there are four stages. It's actually <laughs> yes. four stages. Yes. Yes. There are four, four stages yeah. of change. So you have the comfort zone, uh -huh. the fear zone, uh -huh. the learning zone, yeah. and, the, and the growth zone. Yeah. Do I need a psychologist to help me know this? Maybe somebody's just watching. How do I even know where I am? How do I apply <laughs> this to it? It sounds like a nice need to, but most people don't live their lives compartmentalizing it and saying, yeah. I'm in this zone or that zone. That's so right. how does this work in practice? Mm. Okay, so there are a number of things that you can do. Um, sometimes you need external help. Mm -hmm. uh, it could be a coach, a mentor, an advisor, 
or somebody who will help you to reframe your life. Okay. Um, every year when we finish with the series, people begin to call our office mm -hmm. and they are like, I want you to help me. And we get a number of calls. Of course, very few are able to follow through. So mm -hmm. sometimes you need somebody to take you through all these things that we are talking about. Mm -hmm. And uh, for most part, for what I have seen and, and done in my work as a, a consultant and, and coach, I think you can do this yourself. Is now, it? one of the things you can do is to reframe stress. Mm. Yeah, to reframe stress. Now, what is stress? As I said earlier on, our brain has been configured to keep us away from pain okay. and to keep us in a state of pleasure or to keep us at comfort, comfort level, what mm -hmm. you know you can deal with. Now, so that's why change is so difficult. Now, when mm. you want to change, you need to pull on a lot of resolve for you to be able to undertake that change. Mm -hmm. So number one, what do you want for this year? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. What do you want for this year? What do you want to achieve in 2022? Mm -hmm. Now, so the new things that are going to come to you Let's assume that uh, they've posted you to a new branch of the company mm -hmm. and you must go and build it from the start. That is stress because it is different. It is, it is out of character and out of your routine. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't reframe it as an opportunity to climb up, then chances are that you'll miss it. Ah, let's assume that the company wants to set up a new department and you've been part of the team that has been nominated to work on setting up the new department mm -hmm. or handle a new product or handle a new service. If you see it as stressful, these people, they really like me. That's why they won't make a go feel for this new play. So reframe some of these new things that are going to come to you this year. Mm -hmm. Take it as stepping stones. I see. Take it as stepping so stones. So don't see it as punishment. Don't see it as see punishment. See it as a chance to... To be blessed, to be promoted. Exactly. I see. Reframe stress. Reframe stress. Now, mm -hmm. let me give you an example of what I mean by this. Mm -hmm. um, I know the, uh, uh, one of the state-owned agencies, one of their senior managers, they decided to post him to the north. And, you know, in Ghana, when they say they are... And I'm not talking about today north. I'm talking about 15 years ago north. So uh, everybody would have, no, 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 no. I'll do everything to make sure I stay in Ghana. No, but the guy took it. He went there and realized that the work environment was very, you know, calm, not too stressful like Accra. For instance, five minutes he has driven to the office instead of Accra where you stay in traffic for two hours. Now, that time that he got there, he did two master's degrees whilst he was in the north. Mm -hmm. And so by the time his colleagues in Accra realized, the guy had two master's degrees and eventually came down to be the managing director of that state-owned agency wow. because he utilized that time very well. He reframed what would have been a very stressful period in his life. He took up that new challenge. So do that this year. Stretch yourself. Even if they don't offer you the new opportunity, you go to your management and say, this year, I want you to stretch me. Give me higher responsibilities so that I can grow. If the stretching will come with more money, I will take it. <laughs> because some of the cameramen say they are overstretched. <laughs> so if the stretching will come with something, they will take it. Don't you give money? <laughs> so that's the first thing. Reframe stress. That's right. Reframe stress. Yeah. I see. What else can you do? Then you need to understand that your, your brain sorry, is mm -hmm. plastic. Your brain is plastic? Yes. Which means that right. you don't stop growing. Mm -hmm. The capacity of your brain and what it will allow you to do is limitless. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, for, and, and I say this because in my work, sometimes you talk to people, 45 year olds, 53 year olds, and they're like, yeah, what you are saying is very interesting, but at my age, what can I do? And, and so a lot of people have resigned themselves to, once mm. again, the comfort zone. Mm. So we forget that Captain Sanders founded KFC when he was, what, 65 or 67? Serious? Yes. <laughs> hey. 65 or 67 after he had failed in just about every aspect of his life. I see. So remember that your brain is plastic. If you stretch it, it will stretch to its elastic limit. So this year, don't sit down. You can be a retiree. You can relearn mm. a new skill and you have another 15 years of a useful working life. Wow. Don't go and sit at home, listen to uh, radio show in the morning, sleep, wake up, eat lunch, sleep. No, <laughs> you can relearn something and give yourself another... Do you have anything against radio shows? Oh, no, I don't. I'm just <laughs> using that as an example as a classic life that retirees in Ghana tend to live. Your brain is but, plastic. Yes. If it you can stretch, stretch, it can stretch. Whatever you want to learn, mm. you can do it. In, in, in the period of lockdown, 
people were surprised at what they could do. Yeah. People took up so much. Yeah. Let me give you an example. One uh, restaurant owner, chef in, mm -hmm. in New York, Mm -hmm. uh, when, during the first wave of the lockdowns, mm -hmm. um, you know, lockdown, nobody was going to eat. A lot of the restaurants shut down. They said, our business is collapsed. Why is the government so wicked? Mm -hmm. This guy said, okay, if people won't come to the restaurant, let me start a new TV series teaching people how to cook because everybody wow. was locked down. So he started a new series. And then as he started teaching people how to cook, they said, okay, can you actually give us the ingredients? You know, can you just de deliver it to us so that we can cook what you are teaching us to cook? So he started another line of business delivering packed ingredients to people. Mm. And then people say, okay, for me, I don't want to cook, just deliver the new order. So from one product line, which was the restaurant, now he had three. Wow. Because the guy stretched himself, mm. added new things to what he was already doing. Mm -hmm. Whereas a lot of the restaurant owners folded their arms and said, we are doomed. I Business see. has collapsed. That's mm. what I mean by the brain is plastic. Mm. If you stretch yourself, mm. if you realize that there's a lot more that you can do, you can So that's the second it. point. Yeah. So reframe stress, mm -hmm. then realize that your brain is plastic. That's if right. you stretch it, it will grow. These are all practical ways of moving from comfort to fear to learning to growth. That's right. right. I see. Anything else to say in addition to this? The next one is prioritize. All right. Prioritize. Mm -hmm. Prioritize. Once again, what I have seen going around Ghana and other parts of Africa to teach and to mm -hmm. uh, 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 talk is that what is actually holding us down is our inability to prioritize, mm -hmm. to focus on what is important as far as our lives are concerned. Mm -hmm. Most of us have time for every other thing other than what will help us grow and to become <laughs> better in life. Yeah. So this year, what are your top three priorities? Mm. What do you want to achieve by 31st night? Mm. Now remember that, and I, I think I've said it here several on this show, mm -hmm. that when we start a new year, the year is not new. It's not new. What, what is mean? new is the opportunity for you to live life new. <laughs> but the year itself is not new. It's just a number that has changed. It's, it's just a number that has changed. But oh. when we say we have entered a new year, it is giving you new opportunities okay. to redo what you want to do. Now, today, look at how the year is running at the speed of light. Before Sorry. I realize, March has come. Mm. Before I realize, June has come. Mm. Before I realize, we are in September, and then mm. the year is going, you are wondering, what did I do with my year? Mm. So, this year, be brutal with your time, your resources, and your energy. Mm. Prioritize. What is it that you want to achieve? Mm -hmm. And then I want to break it down. Every quarter, choose three things that you want to achieve. Mm -hmm. Every three months. Focus that these three months, I want to do three, just three. Mm -hmm. Then every week, decide what three things you will do to achieve the three. Okay. And then every day, decide what three things you will do to achieve your three for the week. Three, three, take, three. Take it on. So every month, your top three. Every quarter. So every quarter. Yes. Your top three. That's right. Those are the things you want to do. You want to do for the quarter. Then every. Every week. Every week. You agree the three things you want to do to help you achieve your three for the quarter. All right. Because it's a little movement, baby steps. Three per quarter, three exactly. per week. And, I also and then said every three per day. Hey. Yeah. Every day. Don't get Every day the top three the top to help three. you achieve your top three for the week. That's right. And every week your top three to achieve your top three for the quarter. Sharp. It sounds easy, but it's not too. <laughs> That's why we talk about the fear the learning and the growth three things per day yeah. to achieve your top three per week yeah three three per week to achieve your top three per quarter that's right i say that's you, priority and you call it the top three yeah that you call it the three three, three cubed three 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 go achievement plan the what three 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 go achievement plan three 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 goal achievement plan yeah because you see, see, if you don't feel, you see, nature abhors a vacuum. We all know okay. that. So yeah. if you don't fill your time with what is important to you, others will fill it for you. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Others will fill it for you. That's when your friend will call Charlie, I won't go see that my boy for Sakumono. Mm -hmm. And then you follow your friend. By the time you go to Sakumono and come, it's three hours of your time gone. Mm -hmm. But then if before you woke up that morning, you knew that today I must do these three things. 
what are you going to do? You tell your brother, Charlie, I have to do this thing. So I beg you, this one, go and come. Mm. Uh -huh. So if you don't decide on what is important to you and spend your time, your energy, and your resources on those three things, mm -hmm. others will feel it for you. So prioritize. Prioritize brutally. Brutal. Be very brutal with Be your, brutal with yourself. Yes, with your with your time, your resources, and, and, and your mm. you know energy and money and every other thing. Focus okay. on you. This right. year, focus on you if you want to rebuild. And then finally, baby steps. Take small steps. Okay. Uh, take small steps. Because sometimes when we talk about this, people say be practical. But everything we are talking about is practical. Uh, people just don't want to discipline themselves to do what we are talking about. Mm -hmm. So just take small steps. And I say this order. Sometimes it's as easy as draw, taking a post-it note and drawing your plan for the day. That's it. Wow. Before you, you realize you are now getting to the habit. Mm. Uh -huh. So just take baby steps. Whatever it is that your goal is for this year, mm. every day do something small. Sometimes it can be going to a school to pick up the admission form that you've been putting off for three years. Mm -hmm. Just take that baby step. Go and pick up the admission form. American author Tony Robbins mm -hmm. says all growth mm -hmm. starts at the end of your comfort zone. Wow. All growth starts at the end of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Now, remember that a ship is very safe at the harbor. <laughs> but that is not its destiny. It is not mm. meant to be at the harbor. Mm. It makes progress when it sails. Mm. Remember that the tortoise is very, very safe when it is inside its hard shell. Mm -hmm. But that is not its destiny. That is not its purpose. It can only make progress when it sticks its head out. Amazing. Now, growth is difficult. Growth is very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. But if you let the fear of growth imprison you, then you will not be able to achieve your dreams and aspirations for 2022. Mm. So the question is, what are you ready to stretch yourself to do? Amazing. What do you want to achieve at the end of 12 months? Mm. Let that inspire and motivate you. And my challenge to you this year is, get 1% better every day. Fantastic. Thank you, Michael Lohini, for Get 1% Better Every Day. That's all we have time for for today's edition of the Effective Living Series, which has been uh, on the City Breakfast Show on radio and also on Breakfast Daily. My name is Bernard Avle. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.